to Gaffer, first win of the season here at Ebbsfleet. How would you sum up that one? Honestly, we should have won by six or seven. And um, we're very frustrated with the goal we conceded at the end. Poor defender from Danny. There's a push. But how they got into that position to make that cross was frustrating. I just spoke to the group there at the end. We can't be giving up goals like that. And that's what happened to us last week. Sloppy goals, total dominance, 78% possession second half we had last week. Um, 72 in total. More corners, more entries, more box entries than the opposition. And today, look, we should win six or seven. That's the God honest truth. I thought uh, first half there was a horrendous tackle on Steady. That should have been a straight red card. And then the same player was elbowed in the face. I thought it should have been a, a second yellow card. So I thought Brundy had a penalty here. So it was a couple of decisions where I thought the referee got wrong. But I thought it was a real poor challenge on Steady. It was a dangerous uh, challenge. But shows Steady's character. Jumps up off the floor, not a bother on him. No crying, no moaning. No, oh, we haven't got this, we haven't got that. Boom, look at that. That's a kid. That's a kid going places. And I was so proud of him today because he had some wallop. That was some wallop he got on the halfway line. And I'll never see him down. He gets up, gets on, and it gets two. And that's what we want at a football club. Yeah, and obviously, you sort of alluded it to him that, you know, a complaint you might have is that it wasn't five or six nil, but on the plus side of that, you must be happy with how many chances you, you created this afternoon. Always happy with chances. We, we always create chances with the chance we create. Always happy with that, but we've got to put them away. Some of them are glorious. But Nicky's had three one-on-ones today. He's got a score. Simple as that. The bar's been raised, you know. The expectation's on us. We've got to be able to handle that. And I've just told them that. Um, we've won. The most important thing is three points, which we're delighted with. But that lack of concentration, that real lack of quality in them scenarios, same happened last week when we didn't get three points. People probably criticised me last week and stuff like that for this, that and the other. But same level of performance, you know. Obviously against a different type of team, a team that sits in last week in a bank of five and four and make it difficult for you. This team here obviously play a bit direct when they're getting channels, they play two up front. Um, but that's how we murdered them today. And uh, our phases, literally I'd say from the tour I mean, a lot of our phases were outstanding, some brilliant creativity. Um, but they, they, we need to score goals. Yeah, I mean, it sort of seemed, you know, to me as sort of the game grew on, there was only really one team in the contest aside from the penalty later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah, we were the best team, but we can't be having them moments late on. No, not captain, making a naive error like that at the back post. Last week was our fault for the two goals as well, so... There's no hiding place here, I ain't going to muddy coddle me players. <laughs> Do you want me to do muddy coddling? No, that's how it works, mate. Yeah, the truth is, last week we should have won. This week we should have won by a much bigger score. We, I thought we were a goal better than the team last week, Halifax. And this week, we should have won by five or six goals, minimum. And we haven't. I've got to ask why. So I look at myself first and foremost, why? I think the, the phases of play, how we set the team up has been outstanding. Total dominance again today and to give up. They had one chance in the first half. Counter attack down the side, cross come in, head eyes, head away. Great chance and then they should have scored to be fair. But we had so many good chances, so many good phases. Um, we showed a lot of bravery, made some good subs I thought. I thought Chap was come on, made a real impact. You know, he squared one to Nicky, Nicky should be there to tap her in. Um, he's had a beat a couple of players, had a toe poke. I know last week was a little bit rusty because that was his first couple of sessions with us at Halifax, but made a big impact. Brunt, he was outstanding, followed the game plan, to, you know, perfect really, making more entries into the box as well. Him with his legs, him personally, I can see him getting in there, so I can see him going to score some goals soon as well. So, loads of really positive performances, but what I would say is the only criticism of my team today is that we should win with much more, uh, many more goals. Yeah, you sort of mentioned it earlier on about, about Callum Stead's performance. I think it's fair to say, absolutely, you'll be lucky uh, to see the back of him at the end of today. Yeah, look, Steady's a top player. He's a wanted player as well. Um, you know, this is what happens. You know, sometimes you can be a victim of your own success. Everyone's after your players. As we've got five or six players that people are after from the, league, the leagues above. Um, and so far, the managing that's been quite difficult. It ain't easy. Um, but I've had honest conversations with them players. Um, the main thing is the focus is on playing today. I, I thought, you know, a little bit of criticism from within the football club last week of our performance. I thought performance was good last week. Our phases were good. We got to the right areas, um, just like we did today um, against a, a team that are a little bit more difficult to play against because they make it they're so defensive. And all. that's how we'll play. I'll play on the front foot. If you're trying two, we're trying three. You know, that's how we're going to walk. That's how we'll always be. Um, and until we get it right, until we reach them points that I want us to meet, I won't be happy. Yeah, and looking ahead to Tuesday now, it's a quick turnaround. Forest Green Rovers at the Hive. Thoughts going into that one? Yeah, we're in tomorrow. we we'll recover, debrief this game. Um, they're a proper team. I think they've got an outstanding midfield, a lot of experience. And obviously, their ambition is to 
get straight back into the EFL. So I'm buzzing to get back at the hoy. I've got to say that I'm looking forward. The new pitch has been laid. The chairman's done a great job with that. The football club's done a great job. We've got new changing rooms and all that. So um, new tunnel, some safe standing. So there's a lot of positives around the football club. Um, to play two uh, away games on the bounce hasn't been ideal for us at the start of the season, but we've managed to come out with three points from that. Um, but looking forward to getting a home in there. Hopefully we can get the place bouncing, but I know it's going to be a really tough game for us. I have no doubt if anyone comes above Forest Green this season, they'll probably be the champions in this division. Tristan.